Yo, what I got back in front of the episode of Rick and Morty. Today we got season one, episode nine, something Rick this way comes. Last episode we had, uh, basically they got to see all their lives in every infinite universe dimension. They got to see what their other selves get to do for a living. Crazy concept, right? But yeah, let's get into this. Thank you guys for clicking this video. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's it, man. Let's go. Hey, Rick, I have to make a project for the science fair this weekend. You think you can help me out? <laughs> Whatever. Well, That's going to build you a time machine for the science fair. Father son thing. Well, scientifically, traditions are an idiot thing. Morty, I think it would be fun for you to work on a science project with your dad. I thought you wants to pass it. Why don't we do it together? Yes. You back the right horse on this one, son. We'll get out the crayons, brew some coffee, and knock this oh, thing out in two or three lost. days. Thank you. Yep, you're doomed. Oh. Dad, I need it's a science fair, and Rick, the best scientist in the galaxy, can help you on it. Time at this little vintage thrift store. My boss is no, this not really bad. smart, eccentric old man that treats me nice and values me. Yeah, can't we? Okay. I've just recently opened for business, Mr. Um, Goldenfold. You know my name? <laughs> That's disarming. I also know you long uh, for Perry, you should uh, you should run. This aftershave makes a man quite irresistible to women. Free of charge. Oh sure. Never pays here. Not with money. Nothing you said free? My grandpa Rick, he was just leaving. Huh. Tell me, Rick, what do you desire? Eh. Desire? So what are you, like, the devil? What? Sorry? I don't know. Store comes out of nowhere. All the shit's old and creepy. Are you the devil? A demon? Leprechaun? Grandpa Rick! Maybe all of them? You could make use of this. This microscope reveals things beyond comprehension. Oh, like what? Drink. Come on now, he's not a drinker. You know, Rick's in his lab making cyborgs and wormholes and all that weird stuff. But weird? Real you mean impressive? Hey, how about we use a ping pong ball for Pluto and then Jupiter? Uh, actually, I don't Pluto's think not a planet. Pluto's a planet. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> of course, Pluto doesn't make planet, sense. Son. I learned that in the third grade. Well, they changed it in 2006. I just checked. Yeah, I heard about that, Morty. And I disagree. That's what I'm saying. I disagree too. Hey, Morty, let me, let, me, uh, let me ask you a question real quick. Hmm? Does evil exist? And if so, can yes. one detect and measure it? Um, yes, of course. Question, Morty. Oh. The answer is yes. You just have to be a genius. Oh, I'm a genius then. Sister's boss gave me a microscope that would have made me retarded. Oh, well, boy, Rick. I, I don't think you're allowed to say that word. God damn. I'm not disparaging the differently abled. I'm stating the fact that if I had used this microscope, it would have made me mentally retarded. Okay, yeah, but I don't oh. think it's about logic, Rick. I Apparently nothing. You asked him if Pluto's a planet, didn't you? No. It's not. Shut up, Rick. Whoa. I don't care Wait, what Rick, says. Rick says it's not, then I might be confused here. <laughs> this aftershave made women want me, but it also made me impotent. A price for everything, Mr. Goldenfold. Everything has a price. <laughs> I deserve it. This oh? serum should counteract the negative effects. Holy cat! Ladies, let's get out of here. Because a hero, Rick. You can have this back. You didn't use it? Sure I did. To develop this, it detects and catalogs all your Twilight Zone, Ray Bradbury, Friday the 13th, the series, voodoo crap magic. Okay. Murder mysteries, and then makes the murders happen in real life. Ooh. Be quiet. Well, that's actually crazy. That's beautiful. You know it's going to be wearing you in three hours? Uh huh. No. You can use my phone. Don't worry. It won't make you deaf because I'm not a hack. Hey! Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, everybody calm down. Grandpa Rick, I like working here. You work for the devil. So what? So Wait, what? what? Yes. So it is he's the devil, Rick. At least the devil has a job. At least he's asking. Whoa. Come on. Really now? Bye bye Whoops. I would have pushed that too. Your father's right. This store curses people. That's my business. Well, yeah, fast food yeah, it was obvious. diabetes and clothing stores have sweatshops. Their company hiring teenagers that isn't evil? Eh, true. Why don't we just make the solar system with eight planets? It's even easier. Sure, sure. And why don't we just burn Galileo at the stake for saying the sun is round? Science isn't always easy, Morty. Boy, Jerry for sure needs this more than anybody else in the world. Huh? Why did they just get abducted? Watch this be Pluto. I'm gonna be mad. Ruler of Pluto, we of course, no way. During routine surveillance of your world. Pluto's a planet. Pluto's a planet. 
Bitch! I might suggest... I'll take it! But, but, but I haven't even... Thank you very, very much. Great store, great place. Bye. Some people are just dumb, bro. Whoa, slow down, honey. Oh, is there a limit? Everything's free, right? Let's just say you don't pay with money. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, Summer. State, why do you want cursed items? Well, I'm going to get the curses removed at Cursed Purge Plus. You know, the guy on TV. This one, Jerry is different. Creepy specific old stuff from a mysterious antique or thrift store that gives you powers but f with you in unforeseeable ways. Mm hmm. I use science to uncurse the items for cash, and you get to keep the powers. This guy got mysterious sneakers to make him run faster, but guess what? He would have had to run until he died, making them worthless. I removed the curse, making them worth like, I don't know, eight million dollars. Huh? Hey, sign me up. Hey Summer, this is your fault. You told him he was a deadbeat with no job. Now he has a job. We're back on Good Morning Pluto, and a very good morning it is for our guest, Earth scientist Jerry Smith. Who uh, scientist? I'm a scientist. Can I show you something? Uh, I better not. Right now. <laughs> yes, sir. We suck plutonium up to the cities where corporations use it to power everything. Okay. Diamond car. Shop. Problem. Or we remove the more Pluto shrinks, but the rich Plutonians won't wake up, and they love your dad telling everyone Pluto's a planet because that means they can keep mining until Pluto goes from planet to. Asteroid. Oh, okay. Um, a party? Is everyone in your family an idiot? For sure, me and my dad are. For sure, me and Jerry. But Rick, he's a genius. This guy. Aren't you the devil? How are you gonna die? Mr. Meatball, how could you even think of doing something so horrible? I'm the devil. What should I do when I fail? Give myself an ice cream? You have a haunted boxing club that will make you the heavyweight champion in 1936, and then you'll be trapped there winning the same fight for eternity. I can take out God, the eternity damn. and the padding, and then you'll have some time traveling mittens. Oh, look! Wait, tr time traveling mittens? Everyone knows you don't care. So? So have fun not caring. I always do. Okay. Good. Yeah, it is good. It's the best. I'm sure it is. Bye. Later. I'm here to pick up my undead cat and child. Yeah. Uh, huh? Are you telling me four billion Plutonians are wrong? You said science wasn't easy. I said science isn't always easy. Obviously, that means sometimes it is easy. Let's not debase ourselves with word games. Here you do me in a planet. Um, excuse me. Morty, what? Dad, what did you think? Recent report published by the Pluto Science Reader linking Pluto quakes, sinkholes, and surface shrinkage to deep core plutonium drilling. What did you think when you were five and you pooped your pants and you threw your poopy undies out your bedroom window because you thought it was like throwing something in the garbage? <laughs> I mean, oh, what, what does that have to do with anything? Hey, <clears throat> hey, what, what, what's going on? Um, Guys, too happy to see you. Help me do the stupid science fair project. Whatever. Talk about Pluto being a planet. People like that. Your Highness, we've captured Scoopy Noopers. <laughs> you are the most. Scoopy Noopers, no. Oh, look whose little journey's come to an end. Take him to Plutonimo Bay. You can't kill the truth, father. Young eat the old if you let them, Jerry. Pluto is a cold, cold celestial dwarf. It's a what? Huh? Oh, planet. <laughs> oh. Aw, TG, he messed up. Needful things into the globally compliant web 4.0 enomenon needful.com. And what does that do? Oh, how much did we make? <laughs> we. This is my business. Security. No, uh, no way. A devil. Before Zuckerberg's balls dropped. I'm the devil, Biatch. What, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked you're that dumb. <laughs> hey, Marty. Oh, back from Pluto so so quick uh some people just can't handle the truth nobody's smarter than Rick but nobody else is my dad you're Girl. a genius at that wow uh I don't know about that one either Martin <laughs> don't lie to him I'm just gonna take this thing in and get an A my turn. but you're a genius at being my dad dad quit while you're ahead I think I understand you know you're really playing with fire when you burst okay. in here like that man yeah I yes I, I, I we understand 
Yes, yes. Good night. Did we learn a lesson here? I'm not seeing. We. Not sure. You learned a lesson. <laughs> Don't trust the devil. People gave us both what we really wanted. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, but you. Uh huh. Totally. Let's do it. Ooh, kind of give it to you. It seems like too much work. It really, we're just gonna beat him up. Oh, yes. Yeah, too much work, guys. <laughs> Sometimes what you really need is for someone else to pay a horrible price. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we, bro. We totally yeah. worth it. We did it. <laughs> totally worth it. I don't know about that. Bitch, please. What? Oh. Wait, why are they getting the same combo? <laughs> Combo was too deadly. Come on, deadly. I might have to learn it. <laughs> it's unblockable. Great episode. It really told us father and son connection. Harry was about to doom another planet because of his selfish needs and stupidity. Oh, what? How? Oh, why, man? How are you this bad? I'm lucky. From moment one, this man, I mean, it's a learning experience, but like, Morty should just went to Rick and like not said anything in front of his father. Not brought up science fair, nothing in front of him. Also, the devil, like, this was the actual devil. He was just here on Earth. Why is he so weak? Like, shouldn't he have some power or something? That guy's just getting beat up by body bodybuilders. Like, what? Where's your magic? Where's your pizzazz? What? Why do you? Why are you working at nine to five? <laughs> are you sure this is in your hell, Earth? Like, come on now. And this man Rick was actually petty, like, cause he he just had free time. He's like, oh, let me just build a store, then dominate you guys, <laughs> take your items and sink them to the ground. He could have really been making money then. If everything in the store was for free, all you had to do was like sell it. Anything would be profit. A dollar, two dollars, five dollars. They would still buy it. Well, technically, you could still have a business. Maybe you just don't. You don't get to see people suffer. That's the only thing. Because if I knew all oh, this mirror can like, I don't know, see the future. Been like a curse, whatever. I'm buying the, the mirror for $20. Going to Rick and getting it uncursed. Now I got the mirror. It's like essentially $20 million worth. For 20 bucks. It's still a steal. Like. You could still be making money here. I don't know why he's not. Great episode. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. Catch you guys next time for another video. Peace, peace, bye bye. Have a great day.